If you're finding that your web pages are not being indexed, that of course is a very big problem, especially if you want to see your web pages actually appearing in search results. So I want to help you get to the bottom of exactly what is causing that issue. So that's why we're going to talk about three things here. First, we're going to look at how to see if Google is actually indexing your pages so you know specifically which pages are and are not being indexed. Second, we're going to look at how to actually go about troubleshooting why your pages aren't getting indexed so you can get to the bottom of it. And lastly, I want to share some specific things that you can do with your site as a whole to help you have a quality site to help lessen the chances of any future indexing issues. So let's dive right in. Now, I want you to know that it is completely normal for not all of your pages to be indexed and for new pages or new posts to not immediately be indexed when you publish it. Depending on how frequently Google crawls your website, how frequently you publish content, it can take a few days or even longer for those pages to be indexed. Now, one of the first things that I like to do is head over to Google Search Console because this really gives us some very insightful information that might just help us figure out exactly what the issue is so we can get it fixed. So right there on your Google Search Console dashboard, you will see an indexing section. And this is going to give you the number of pages that are indexed or not indexed on your web page. You can simply click on the full report and this is going to show you a chart to show you are you having more pages indexed over time or less pages indexed over time. But very importantly below you're going to find a list of why pages are not being indexed on the website. And this gives you a long list of all of the different issues and how many pages are having those specific issues and simply clicking into one of those issues is going to give you the specific pages that are having those issues so you don't know exactly which pages to fix. Now this is really helpful if you are trying to fix indexing issues by a specific type. But let's say that you have a specific web page that has an indexing issue and you want to get into why that one page is having that issue. So going back over to your Google Search Console account, you will see both on the left hand side a URL inspection and at the top a search bar that says inspect any URL. And that is where you're going to be able to pop in a specific page. And this is going to return a report that is going to let us know specifically why this URL is not on Google. Now, if this doesn't give you enough information or you want to make sure that that is what the live version of this particular web page is actually experiencing, make sure to click on the test live URL button that you'll see there. And this will let you know if there are any other issues with the live web page. Now, another thing that I want to do in Google Search Console is I want to make sure that we have submitted our XML sitemap. Now, there is an HTML sitemap for a website, which I'm not going to go into here. But for Google, you need to submit an XML sitemap. And this is one that is specifically for search engines and not for visitors. So to do that, from our Google Search Console account, we're going to click on sitemaps. And this is where we're going to be able to put in the URL of our sitemap which is typically just sitemap.xml. So when looking at your submitted sitemaps, you'll be able to see when this sitemap was actually submitted and the last time that the sitemap was read and if it has been successful or not. If you've checked and you do not already have an XML sitemap, you can use the XML sitemaps website, which is automatically going to generate one for you. And I'll leave the link to that below. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that we have not accidentally encouraged search engines not to index a site. So sometimes this happens when we are working on a new version of a website. We're asking Google not to index that version. But then once we put the site live, we forget to uncheck the box that tells it not to index. So here's what we want to do from our WordPress dashboard. We're going to go to settings, reading, and at the bottom of that page, you will see the checkbox for where you can discourage search engines to not index the site. So you want to make sure that that is unchecked. Now, the next step is to check your robots.txt file. If you're not familiar with this, this is OK. We'll keep this simple, usually simply by going to yourdomain.com forward slash robots.txt. That is going to show you which pages you are disallowing search engines to index. And sometimes they've accidentally requested them to not index certain pages, certain sections, or even sometimes our whole website. So you want to make sure your robots.txt file does not have the following lines where it says 
disallow, and then it has that forward slash. If it has that forward slash and it has nothing else there, that is you telling search engines not to index part of the site. But if you see disallow and it does not have that forward slash, then you are good. Now, for those of you who are using an SEO plugin like Rank Math, for instance, which I would recommend over using Yoast SEO, you can go into their general settings and there is an edit robots.txt there and that is where you would actually be able to check what the file contains and make any changes but this is one of those files if you're not sure it is definitely good to have someone who is more experienced with this go in and edit that file now you also want to make sure that you actually have an indexing issue and you should know this by going into your google search console account but let's say you just want to do a quick check or you haven't yet set up your google search console account which you should go do that right now but you can just take the URL, you can pop it into the Google search box and you can see, does this web page actually appear? If it does, well, then you're indexed. But that's why I wanna bring this up because some people think that their web page is an index just because it is not appearing for them in search results. So that's the difference of your web page actually ranking versus it being indexed. Now, if you're not yet finding any specific issues just yet, there are a number of things that you can still check. The first of those is to make sure that you have a mobile friendly site. So I know for me, it's going to differ for every site, but for all of my sites, the majority of my traffic is coming from visitors who are using a mobile device. So I always need to make sure that the websites perform well on mobile because if they don't, Google is not going to send me that traffic. And when there is a big issue with that, that can definitely cause them to not index all of your pages. So you can use a tool like Google's mobile friendly testing tool, pop in your site there and it is going to let you know how Google views your website when it comes to mobile friendliness. Another very important check, which you should be doing anyway, is to make sure that you have a fast loading website. You are passing core web vitals. If you are not sure what Core Web Vitals is, how to check for it, how to fix it. I will link to a video I did specifically on that below. But this is something you wanna check for. One of the easiest ways that you can do that is by using Google PageSpeed Insights and GT Metrics. Both of those are free, I will link to those as well. But popping your website in there is going to let you know, are you passing Core Web Vitals? How long is it taking for your web page to actually load so that if needed, you can speed up your website. Now you also wanna do a content review. And this is where you're looking at, do I really have high quality content on the website? Is the visitor who is coming to this webpage really getting all of the information that they need and are not going to need to go to another source and in order to gather more information. So this is where you can take a look at what search results are actually ranking above you and ask yourself, is this content that I have put out actually better than the higher ranking content? Well, if not, you can expect it to rank higher. So you really wanna make sure that your content has at least a thousand words, that it is very comprehensive, and it just is really of high quality. It's adding value. So this doesn't mean just adding in a bunch of fluff just to try to get you to a higher word count because it's not about just the word count it is about the quality of the post so if you're finding that your website has too many what are called thin pages these are pages that don't have a lot of content that can definitely be an issue for your site another check is looking at your overall site structure what i mean by this is how quickly can your visitors find what they are looking for within just a couple of clicks is your navigation very clear and easy for them to find what they are looking for? If it's not easy for a human, it's not easy for the search bots as well as they're going through and crawling your website. So you wanna make sure that both of them can go through and crawl your website easily. They can find the information that they need that's going to help with indexing. Now, another thing that you wanna do, which is a good idea to do regularly anyway, is a technical SEO audit. And this is looking for all kinds of things. And so I use SEM Rush to do this. If you don't have an account, get a free account. It's at least going to give you some information that you can start off with before you decide to go for a paid account. But this is gonna look for issues like, are you passing Core Web Vitals? Are pages not being crawled or not being indexed? Do you have any mobile friendliness issues, any 404 errors, sitemap issues, any website security issues? There's a whole lot of different issues that are looked at in a technical audit. But when you have too many technical issues, there's always going to be some but when there are too many issues that can start to impact your visibility. Now, if you are working with a website that has ever been penalized, and let's say there was a content issue, they penalized your website, but that website was not fixed, 
it can really take a long time to crawl back out of that. And so that really means that you're having to really revamp your website, really fix up the content, show that it is a whole new and improved website, but it takes a lot of time for you to rebuild that trust with Google and for them to start to index your pages and index them quickly again. Now let's talk about some of the things that you can do site-wide to try to lessen those chances of actually experiencing any indexing issues in the future. The first is you want to make sure that you have a good site structure. Make sure that your sections are well laid out, they make sense, and you definitely want to make sure that you are building internal links. So that is one web page on your website linking to another relevant web page on your website. And this is incredibly important. You want to make sure that you don't have any orphan content. This is content that exists all by itself and it's not linked to from the navigation or from any other pages on your website. If you have a lot of content, I recommend the Link Whisperer tool to help give you specific recommendations on what to link to on your website. And this is a great way to start building up that traffic. Now, if you do have a website that publishes content, I would encourage you to pick a consistent, regular content publishing schedule that you can stick to. So if you can publish four times a week, that is fantastic. If you can only publish once a week or once every other week, that's okay too. Obviously the more the better. However, it's also very important that you can do so consistently. So start lower and build up to higher amounts of content as you can, but just be consistent. And you can also go back and look at any older content. What used to be performing well for you? That is not. And this is something that's easy to figure out in your Google search console account, simply by comparing time periods and seeing what was bringing in traffic in the last time period versus the current time period. Go back make that content thorough, high quality, and that will improve the overall quality of your website. And finally, if you have tried all of these things and you're finding that your web page is not getting indexed, you can use Google's manual indexing request within your Google Search Console account. And you can submit your URL there requesting that they index that web page. It is important to know though that this is not something that you want to rely on. So if you're finding that you're having this issue with all of your web pages, there is definitely something else that is going on and you want to be able to get to the bottom of that. So hopefully this is going to help you get to the bottom of why your web pages are not being indexed so that you can fix the issue and have a better indexing experience moving forward for your website. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.